What's up guys, welcome back once again to Data Reviews. Now you may have seen previously I've done a sort of overview of this case. This is the Inwin Chopin Pro. Um, today I'm going to be doing a build, so let's go on with it. termination right so there we have the uh, build and benchmarks in the Inwin Chopin Pro I think it's Chopin you pronounce it um, I still not figured that out and uh, now obviously this is a HTC HCPC build you're not gonna get absolute massive high-end PC builds in this and um, because you have to use an APU there's no room for any graphics card at all I'm using the 5600G um, as uh, I would have put up on the screen um, so basically testing the APU and obviously the CPU performance and the temperatures of the case as well just to see how it performs. I have to say I absolutely love this case. I just think it looks absolutely amazing. It's It's got the aesthetics are there of it being all brushed aluminium. It just looks really, really nice. Um, yeah, obviously you can't fit high end components in it, but it's for HDPC, for what it's designed for, for putting under your TV and watching films on it and playing a little bit of gaming. Uh, maybe a bit of emulation as well. It's absolutely fantastic. It looks brilliant. Uh, in terms of other parts of using it, um, the thermal right uh, X forty seven full copper cooler. I've used in that. Um, there's no RGB in it because um, I haven't got any components really to put in it that are RGB to make it shine. But I will be getting some in the future, so I'll be doing sort of a thing on this as well. Um, so let's talk about the performance of it. Um, obviously the uh, fan for the CPU coolers right up against this mesh grill so cooling isn't an issue whatsoever. I did run a cinnamon bench test just to see it, what it got to. It got to around 70 degrees maximum and an average of 59 degrees um, so it's not bad at all and it scored uh, 10,967 which is not actually bad um, at all. It's better than my 7700k which I used in my testing a lot um, so yeah it's really really good. Uh, now the thing you're probably going to want to know the most is the uh, gaming uh, benchmarks um, so I just, did, I just did three on this one I ran them all at 720p with the lowest settings um, because I knew this wasn't going to be able to run AAA games at high settings and and still perform well so I ran Shadow of the Tomb Raider which is really really difficult to run so it's probably not quite fair on this little uh, APU um, and I got a, it was between 20 and 30 FPS for most of the time normally around 25, 26, 27 around there um, so it's not massively playable. Um, it is playable, but it, it it doesn't look great. It doesn't feel great, but you could get by if you really wanted to. And um, this is going to be more for sort of really casual gaming, sort of CS:GO stuff like that. 
Overwatch. I haven't been able to uh, test CSGO, by the way, because my for some reason my overlay won't work with it. Um, but I did have a little go on it myself, and it does run absolutely perfectly fine. Um, so with that in mind, I then tested Overwatch 2, um, because I know that's the sort of game um, a lot of people play, and it, I know it can run well on low-end uh, components. And it was pinned at 60 FPS the whole time, um, not a problem at 720p. Um, at medium settings, um, and it was running absolutely beautifully. Um, yeah, not a problem at all. It was running really, really nice. I just let basically the game decide what it wanted to do with the graphics on that one, and it run really, really nice. So if you want to play Overwatch, then you can do it on something like this, and it takes up no room on your desk. It looks absolutely awesome. And then I ran uh, Resident Evil 2, um, obviously the remake, uh, again at 720p on the uh, lowest settings, um, and I got 40 to 50 FPS, which I was actually quite surprised with. And it doesn't actually look that bad. It doesn't look bad, to be fair. It looks really nice still and still plays really well. Um, so again, like I say, for sort of sofa gaming, gaming on your couch, sitting back, relaxing, watching film, film stuff like that, then this is absolutely brilliant. Um, the noise level was it got to about 38 decibels when it was gaming because it was ramping up the, the tiny little fan, 90 mil fan in there, ramping it up to the maximum to, to cool it down and um, so it's not the quietest um, but when it's on the TV or something like that you're probably not going to notice it too much and if you're just using it for sort of films and stuff like that then it won't be getting up as, as high as that and um, so that is my review of the Inwin Shopping Pro there is now a max version as well and there's a standard version the max is basically taller to get higher CPU coolers in and this one is right up against the mesh. It is literally squoze in there. Um, you can't get anything bigger in there at all. So you're looking at, uh, this is the X47. Um, so you're looking at 47 mil, I believe it is. Um, I'll put the links in the description below. Um, maximum uh, CPU cooler height in there. So it is really, really small. Uh, yeah, and that's it, guys. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this build. I really enjoyed doing it, and I really like this case. And I'm going to be using this for some emulation stuff as well. Um, and this is probably going to go under my TV, and uh, I'll uh, use it for quite a while. So thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed it, um, and uh, I'll like to see you on the next video. Please don't forget to subscribe, uh, like this if you did like it, dislike if you didn't. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching, and goodbye.